cut it out stop it cut the bs you're not overwhelmed you just don't know how to think okay or maybe you are overwhelmed because you don't know how to think and organize your thoughts so in today's video we'll be talking about one exercise that will change your life with regards to feeling overwhelmed and organizing your thoughts for more clarity this is exactly what i do when i'm feeling bad and upset about something and i know it's just because of my poor thinking that is causing um set, certain things to play out right so this one exercise and i'll show you practically will change your life today i got us an interesting idea uh, i was going through reddit and there are a lot of people who like to go vent there reddit is like a journal where people write all their thoughts and feelings for the whole world to see so there are a lot of people on reddit there doing the mistakes that many of you guys are doing and feeling overwhelmed and feeling bad and feeling hopeless because they don't know how to do this one thing so i'm going to show you guys what to do and how i do to have clarity of mind i've been doing this for a long time because my parents were conscious people and they taught us how to do this from Unuaya. so the exercise i'm going to share with you today is gonna be tentatively called the three f's okay the first f is faith Faith has to do with expectations, things that you are expecting to happen. Like, oh, uh, I want to graduate school. Oh, I want to be having a good job. Oh, I want to have lots of money. You know, so things you hope for in the future, right? And then second, we're talk talking about feelings. These are emotional things. So I feel tired. I feel upset. I feel like this, you know, in your language, if you find yourself talking at a uh, a lot about i feel this i feel that then that could be an easy indicator of um emotional thinking right i feel this way i feel that way it isn't necessarily bad i've talked about how to use emotions properly in a different video i've even given you an emotional release video emotions aren't bad but emotional thinking can get you in a bad place right and then finally, facts. Now, these are things that are factual, are true, are in line with reality. You can fact check and bring data and be like, yeah, this is the data that proves that this, this, this is true. Facts, yeah? So, take these three things into consideration. For faith, um, this is an exercise. So, if you're doing it with me right now, um, get a like pen or something, right? So, for faith, we'll use a green pen, right? I have I have a multicolored pen. We'll use a green pen, and then for feelings, we'll use a red pen, and then for facts, we'll use a black pen. Right. So this exercise simply is there to teach you how to differentiate when you are overthinking and you're not thinking accurately it is when you're causing yourself to suffer for no reason based off of inaccurate uh thinking for example you may think that something is a fact but in fact you're just in your feelings emotional and you're not really thinking clearly and logically right so when you're journaling you take a pen and then you underline after you've written your whole paragraph no judgment you've written everything you you just want to get out you take a pen and start underlining according to what is an expectation and you know with expectations um we need to learn how to manage them because um you're only disappointed when your expectations are not met right so if somebody promised you something they're like oh i'm going to bring you um ten dollars today and then they don't do it you feel bad but if they had never promised you the ten dollars you wouldn't even think about it right you wouldn't even feel disappointed so managing expectations is very important and secondly feelings you're underlining in red like you said before and then facts in black so with facts you can start to tackle the problem um based off of the facts you'll be like okay so this is what it is happening and this is what i need to do to tackle the problem so you see how it can make you think clearly if you just know how to do it okay so um i will show you this practically using reddit posts um like if i was to coach people on reddit typically people on reddit are not uh some, a lot of them are not my my clientele because a lot of them just need therapy not coaching coaching is for people who can operate at a normal level right so just like coaching like when when a football uh coach is coaching footballers he's coaching talented people right um already and giving them like 
the system, the structure to be even better. It's the same with you. We take normal people who are operating normally and who have like a lot of potential, which everybody has, and takes them to the next level, right? Okay, so the the, the heading of the Reddit is like, is it okay to just exist? So they write here that ever since I turned 20, uh, edit, I forgot to mention that I'm currently 24, so I've been four years into this existential crisis right i would i would underline that existential crisis in red because um is it a fact that you're in an existential and existential crisis can we like is there data to prove that right or can you use a, a better term to explain that situation that you're going through uh in a more factual way right um i kept questioning the point of my life I hate working. I would underline that again in red. Hate has to do with feelings. I hate working. I don't have a dream job and I don't want to do anything. No, it's not a fact because is it true that you truly don't want to do anything? Like you don't want to, like, I don't know, the smallest thing. You don't want to eat dinner. You don't, anything means like anything. So this is actually not a fact, right? So it would be in one of one of those we need to rephrase statements, right? I have no goals to start a family. Okay, that could be a fact. That's not one of your goals. And I I pretty don't have a purpose or anything I want to do with my life. Okay. So I kept questioning the point of my existence because I feel like all I do is work a nine to six and don't contribute to society. So you see that is would be underlined in feelings, right? In red, because they even phrase it, I feel like all I do is work nine to six and I don't contribute to society. Um, that's feel, purely feelings because if you actually uh, thought about it, then working nine to six you are contributing to society whatever job you're doing even if it's the minutest of things like i don't know you work in a assembly line of some company those products are going to reach somebody and it's going to reach a consumer and definitely you're contributing to society so this is more like a feeling thing there's a certain feeling that is causing you to make such statements right and it's not necessarily true so i don't volunteer because Whenever I'm exposed to other people's struggles, I go down on a spiral of sadness and question why do these sufferings exist? Okay? So that may be a fact. They don't like to volunteer because it, it hurts their feelings or something. So for them, they don't volunteer because of that. And then, which solidified my conclusion that there is no point in life. This is a feeling. It's not a fact obviously this is just a unilateral experience of this person and the way they are seeing the world right and then i feel guilty with my existence because i don't volunteer again feelings of guilt so this is a very good example of somebody who is very feeling oriented they're not really reasoning with facts okay they have allowed themselves to be in this mode of suffering do you know we can be addicted to suffering where you just feel bad because you feel bad and because you feel bad you feel more bad and you feel more bad it's a, it's an addiction because it's a feeling and sometimes our body even gets addicted to suffering dr joe dispenser talks about this a lot so you have to be very clear with yourself if you look into your journal and it's just full of red and most of the feelings are bad then cut that out cut it out Re realize that it's nonsense not everything you think is true right so Especially when it's something that is not really truly helpful or useful uh, in moving you forward, okay? This is just feelings, okay? It's feelings of the ego. We talked about the ego with the real feelings and the, um, the true you, which has your authentic feelings, which you can rely on, right? Probably this person doesn't know or isn't very clear of is their desires. Hidden behind all this talk of I feel guilty, I, I want to do this. I, I, they don't even say I want. They just say I don't want to live like this is a desire to make an impact a desire to contribute right uh, to society but at the same time they don't know how to do it because you're just focusing on their bad feelings and uh, probably you'd also find if you talk more with this person maybe something happened where their expectations were not met so you see for example here she's like um 
I have no goals to set up for me and, I, and I'm, I'm, I pretty don't have a purpose or anything I want to do with my life. So they, they probably had certain expectations, but by this age, I'll have this done, I'll have a purpose, I'll have goals, I'll have this happen. And because it hasn't happened, she's disappointed, right? So she hasn't been managing her expectations or she hasn't been cognizant of the way to um, achieve these expectations and in what manner. So at the end of the day, she starts to feel bad about it and ruminate in the feeling side rather than like taking steps forward. Let's read the second one. Okay, I'll just read the whole thing through and then we'll analyze it. I have no desire to do anything. I just do the bare minimum to get by. I hate that I'm like this. I feel like I've been this way my entire life. Even in this moment, as I sit, I think about all of the things I could be doing. Reading, studying, a new language, creating something, ETC. And as much as I want to be that person who does those things, I also cannot bring myself to do them. It feels more like a chore. I've always wanted to be an avid reader, but then I try to read and I'll feel like I'm doing it uh, so that I can get it over with. Just to say that I've done it, no, not to actually enjoy it. I literally feel that way about everything all the time i barely got into high school too even sports that i played after a while i was just forcing myself to get through the games why don't i enjoy anything crying emoji all i do is watch tv i lost my health months ago due to covid and i no longer drink but before that all i was doing was drinking i just feel like everything is so hard to do in my life no matter what i do i've been so lazy anyway yes that is the post on reddit right so we can analyze this you can see you can just see from the tone of the story and the narrative that this person is very much not thinking very clearly not assessing a situation very clearly people change when the desire to change becomes stronger than the desire to remain the same and when they do that instead of like focusing on this narrative that's happening it's more like focusing on the steps that i want to take so let's start analyzing it um i hate that i'm like this underline it in green uh, i'm in red that would be feelings right i have i feel like i have been this way my entire life feelings even in this moment as i sit i think about of all the things i could be doing so this is something to do also with expectation like at a certain time you expect to be doing certain things to be a certain way to be productive but you're not so it's about managing expectations right and then reading studying a new language blah 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 i cannot bring myself to do them is that a fact um you can bring yourself to do certain things just think about it right like from the smallest thing you can bring yourself to go to work you can bring yourself to the nini you can you can bring yourself to do so even if you like if you broke it down to the smallest amount of things right so uh, maybe a more accurate statement of fact would be i will not bring myself to do them then you now you can get into the reasons why you will not bring yourself to do them because it feels like a chore they even answer their own question it feels like a chore so they're operating on feelings right and then i've always wanted to be an avid reader again expectations without putting any action steps behind them so you have this um feeling of not accomplishing feeling disappointed in your certain expectations but at the same time you're feeling bad but not doing anything about it um so they say here i literally feel that way about everything all the time so all the time you know have most a, a third of your life you're sleeping so obviously it's not all the time you know so it's not a factual statement so whenever you feel this uh statements which are like uh, feelings you need to make sure if you're talking about facts if you're going to underline in black reframe it in a way that it's accurate you can say that um instead of saying i feel it's a feeling statement but i feel this way about everything all the time you can say that i feel this way um when this happens how specifically okay what specifically triggers this emotion in you and then that would be a more accurate statement than saying i feel this way over all the time this is what we call catastrophizing it's like oh nothing ever works out for me the way you deal with that is ask yourself how specifically and go into detail and then reframe the statement into a more accurate statement and i talk about this in my uh seven 
step process to reprogram your mind one of the key things we do is reframing and if you want to know how to reframe and how to keep reframing your thoughts so you can think more accurately you can check my affirmation manifestation journal in the description it will help you in doing that and so you see how sometimes we are in a pit of our own digging okay we're in a mess of our own making and we don't know it and our thoughts aren't even helping it so being able to recognize that i may not be thinking accurately about this situation and let me let me journal on it let me get clear on what is actually happening and let me find the next step forward uh, with how i can do this is a more profitable endeavor and you don't have to do it alone okay you don't have to do it alone yesterday i was in a conference and that was one of the key things that i i that spoke to me right you don't have to do it alone okay through this process you can ask for help there are people like me coaches that people on youtube people everywhere willing and happy to help you so you don't have to do it alone um, I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you'll implement this exercise in your journaling routine and see just how much you can transform your thinking. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.